Okay, so 1899 has a major ending that sets up a lot of things for next time. I don't want to waste your time as there's a lot to talk about, so spoiler alert. <laughs> Anyway, the season ends with Mora breaking out of the simulation that the voyage on the Kerberos has been. She awakens to find herself on the Prometheus, which is of course also the name of the abandoned ship that they discovered in episode 1. Captain Ike found a ship passengers list on the Prometheus that had both their names on it, and this was one of the many clues that they were in fact on the vessel from the beginning. Now to me, the events in the series very much work as a metaphor for what's going on in the real world. Mora was of course looking for a brother who was on the Prometheus, and this extends to what we discover at the end. Just in the same way that the Kerberos was heading out to New York, I think that the passengers are heading out to a new planet in order to start a new life. This is demonstrated in the text log that we see at the end, which says survival mission along with a list of two coordinates. Clearly chronicling a journey, I think that both the events on the Kerberos and what we learn may very much parallel each other. Mora is looking for her missing brother, and she ends up discovering the truth about him at the end showing she's at least completed this mission. Now I think that the thing the passengers are doing on the Kerberos are also what they're doing in real life. For example, Lucian will be travelling to this new planet to get life-saving surgery that will stop him from having seizures. Because of this, I also think it hints out what's going on with Elliot. In the series we discover that Mora's father built an asylum to study her mother, who is suffering from a decline in her cognitive abilities. He wanted to understand the human brain more, and it is possible that Elliot gained the same condition. Mora very much mirrored her father, and along with her husband Daniel, she could be seen keeping Elliot in a simulation. Now my guess is that it will be revealed in season 2 that he's either dead or at least at death's door. The simulation could have the ability to alter one's perception of time, and just in the same way that one can live out days in a dream, it is possible that time works differently in a sim as well. She may potentially be prolonging the time that she has with Elliot through keeping him imprisoned in a simulation that she can visit and loop. This is of course similar to the beetle Alfred that Elliot found. Mora told him it was cruel to keep it in a cage, but this is clearly a lesson that she's ignored for herself. Even Daniel thinks that the child should be set free, and instead of being allowed to exist in the real world, he's forced to remain in this prison because Mora can't let go. Now I'm still unsure over whether Elliot is dead or not, and potentially Mora is taking him to this new destination in order to try and find a cure. Now Elliot being dead is of course represented by the fact that his room is beneath a child's grave that exists at Mora's home. However, the way he acts in the simulation makes it seem like he's a real person, and Mora's father even reveals a lot of things to him. He would be someone who would know if the child was really dead or not, so doing this would be a waste of time for him if he in fact was. The child's room being in the grave could maybe be a metaphor of how he's got one foot in the grave, and the access back and forth may symbolise that he's at death's door rather than being there. I think the series will very much be about Mora learning to let go, and this has of course been echoed throughout several of the characters. Now as for what's going on with her brother, we actually have a lot of clues for this already. In the series we learn that their father is the owner of the company that refurbished the Prometheus and also the Kerberos. I think this is very much the case in real life, with him also owning the company that the Prometheus belongs to. Anyway, Kieran likely launched a coup to take over control of this, and he trapped both his sister and father in a simulation in order to launch his plan. Say Mora was taking Elliot to get cured, this would give him an opportunity to launch his plan to trap her in a sim. There's obviously a lot of similarities to Inception, and just in the same way that the group launched their mind invasion on a plane, Kieran could have done this on the spaceship as well. Mora transporting her son would be when she's at the most vulnerable, it's something he could plan ahead for, and I think it would be a big way to handle Kieran's arc. He's likely carrying out experiments on the passengers whilst keeping them trapped in these loops, and running through his own tests that push the brink of their sanity. Their father carried out experiments to try and understand the human brain, and he may be doing a similar thing through the use of simulations. Now if you want something else to watch, then make sure you check out our breakdown of the ending, which will be linked on the screen right now. We talk about the whole series, all the little hidden details in it, the basic plots and influences that led towards this show, and I'm really proud of the video, so definitely go head over there right after this. Without the way, thanks for sticking through the video. I've been Paul, I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.